Hello everyone, welcome to day four of 90 Days of Real Estate. Today I'm inside the Lakes neighborhood, which is a neighborhood adjacent to Summerlin, a three bedroom condominium for sale. I'm gonna show you the property and tell you what to look out for if you're in the market to buy a condo here in Las Vegas. Let's get started. All right, starting right outside the property, this is what it's gonna look like if you were to live in this condominium building or any other around Vegas. You're gonna mostly have a attached garage is optional so that's something you should specify if you're in the 200 300 400 thousand dollar condo price range for las vegas are you going to want an attached garage or are you okay with separate parking in this case this unit has an attached garage plus extra parking for guests which is right behind me and then there's a general like communal um like green belt area uh as walkways in between the property and then this is all guest parking or further first come first serve because this um unit which is right down here it's a first floor unit has you know parking space for only two cars so out to your right you're just you have utility closets nothing crazy and this would be considered your little patio this is your front window and this is unit 101 welcome in so this is a three bed, two bath. We're in the zip code 89117. We immediately walk in to uh, your open living room. On that side would be the primary, the kitchen and dining. And we're gonna start on the left here with this two secondary bedrooms. So something to know further in your condo search. One, you're gonna wanna decide, as I said, what your desired parking situation is gonna be, whether that's attached garage or separate. Uh, the second thing is generally you can actually buy condos here in Las Vegas. This is your laundry room uh, in the mid 200s to the high 300s and obviously it goes higher but if you're looking for kind of a starter condo I really recommend finding one a unit like this. This is a really nice neighborhood here in the lakes and this unit is renovated. So that's my second tip for you besides the parking tip, you're gonna want to, if you're in the 200 to $300,000 price range, um, look for a renovated unit because there are a ton on the market usually, a good handful on the market usually, and it's going to be just a little bit better than buying an original condition condo. In fact, all of the condos I've sold ever um, have always been renovated just because, you know, at the, at the starter price point, if you can find one, that has been touched up. It's really, really nice to walk into. We've got a coat closet here and that's that front door. And then this is your living room with your patio and your fireplace. All right, third tip if you are searching for condos. The condo communities here in Vegas are going to all have HOAs. Every single one of them has an HOA. I don't, I could be wrong, but I don't know of one existing with no HOA. So that's something that you're going to want to, again, know and have in your mind that no matter what, you're going to need to be following the community guidelines. My fourth tip, if you are searching for condos here in Las Vegas, is to make sure that you're working with a mortgage vendor who knows how to basically produce a loan on condos? Sometimes there will be condominium communities here in Vegas, any side of town. It doesn't really, um, it doesn't really happen on one side of town more than another, where the listing of the property says they don't accept a conventional loan, and your real estate agent might have gotten you approved with an FHA loan, or you might be working with an FHA loan. Well, a lot of agents and consumers don't know that you actually can use FHA loans on condominium properties that say that they don't accept FHA loans. If you are able to do what's called a spot approval, you have to be working with a mortgage lender who knows how to do this and it does make your escrow period a little bit longer than 30 days, but it is well, well, well worth the the filing of the paperwork basically is all the lender has to do to be able to put an FHA loan on a condominium uh, property because it allows you to get down, to get, to get down, to go get away with, I don't know what I'm trying to say, to put down that three and a half percent that you would need to put down for your FHA property. Whereas with a conventional loan, which is an amazing loan as well, you typically uh, are required or advised to put anywhere from 5 to 20% down, depending on your needs. 
Now, if you're in the market to look for real estate and you need a lender and you need to answer questions, make sure you fill out my form. It is the first thing in the description. Every single day I get to help my YouTube followers, subscribers, look for homes here in Las Vegas and relocate and I've done this time and time again. This is super, super fun for me and this is actually a huge series that I'm doing right now, this 90 day series um, where I'm posting a video every single day on this channel. So even if you're not ready to reach out to me, make sure you subscribe to my channel. This is day four and for 90 days straight, I'm taking you on an inside look of Las Vegas real estate and everything that's going on here. All right, let's continue looking at the property. So walking through the kitchen, on your home this is uh your attached two-car garage which is amazing and another big um thing and you know really nice feature that you can still get an attached garage on a condo water heater definitely looks like it's newer and if you hear some thumping that is surely because they're renovating in this community yet another unit so that's my biggest tip for home condo home buyers seriously 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 you should be able to find a really nice condo even in like the low 200s price point 250 um on the east side of las vegas and places like sunrise manor and winchester i literally to this day even see condos as low as the hundred thousands or low 200s so if you're working with a lower budget that's perfectly fine too i would love to work with you and know that you have a ton of options here's your master that we are walking in. It's definitely very large. And then these are all your closet spaces. And they renovated this bathroom as well. I actually really like the van this big old vanity in here. Double sinks. Very, very nice. And look at this. This is a standing shower. All right. So if you want to add a glass, you can. And look at this. Very nice tile. I love it. It's very, very smooth. Let me know if you like the house. Let me know if you like the way and style I'm doing these videos and any other feedback that you might have. My voice is literally like shaking because I have to cough. <coughs> Thanks for watching. Tomorrow will be day five of the 90 days challenge. And I'm going to go check out some luxury property. We're going to completely spin the wheel. I think I'm going to go down to Summerlin South and check out a house new construction for 1.8 million dollars it's probably my plan and if it's not tomorrow it'll be the next day thank you so much be sure to stay tuned